this is it. Welcome back to another Lord Hesion camera comparison video and today we're looking at the best Samsung mid-rangers going at each other. In one corner we have the Samsung Galaxy A52 and in another we've got the Samsung Galaxy A72. Samsung have put a great amount of advertising and boasting in the new A-series lineup and so the whole point of this test will be to see just how good these cameras are, where the improvements have been made, be it in hardware or software, and what really sets these two phones apart in the camera department. Also, I'm gonna throw in the Samsung Galaxy A32 to give you a perspective of how these two stack up against the cheaper brother and the Galaxy S21 Ultra to see how they stack up against the flagship brother. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I make an upload. Cheers! The camera redesign aspect that Samsung did with the S lineup has continued onto the A series phones. Both the Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A72 have a different camera design from last year. Though they do look similar and it's quite hard to tell which is which just by looking at the cameras, especially with my much black units here. Camera specs this year are also similar as seen in the 12 megapixel ultra wide and 64 megapixel wide camera lenses with the difference coming in the new telephoto lens on the Galaxy A72 in place of the depth sensing 5 megapixel camera lens on the Galaxy A52. That said, One's expectations going into this test is to see the similar lenses like the wide, ultra wide, macro and selfie cameras perform similarly, but I've done this for a while now to know that that's not always the case. To see this in action, let's start with the ultra wide samples from each phone. First, ultra wide shots have a ton of objects in frame and both phones do a good job capturing detail of the scene and bringing out the objects in dynamic range. Samsung's scene optimizer kicks in now and then to make things a tad bit better, especially in scenery shots like this. Both phones are consistent in dynamic range as seen in how they bring out the clouds and the sky, for example. Color accuracy is on point, nothing is too saturated, and clarity is nothing short of amazing. Once in a while, the Galaxy A72 slipped and washed out the background, as seen in this shot here, but giving the phone enough time to adjust exposure allows the phone to take a crisp photo. Shot after shot, so far, the equal, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera on the Galaxy A52 is threading equal blows with that on the Galaxy A72. For the most part, ultra wide camera performance is similar all through. It's so similar to a point where if both pictures are put side by side, minus the identifying caption, you wouldn't tell which is which. Example, let's do it real quick. Pause this video and guess which phone took which picture in this shot. Pretty sure you won't spot the differences easily. Here are samples of the Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A72 against the Galaxy A32. Here's them going against the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Switching to wide angle shots, the first apparent change is color temperature and before you go on, I did notice this lag in switching perspectives or switching between lenses on the Galaxy A52 and not on the Galaxy A72. Didn't really understand it, but it's something worth noting. For the most part, color temperature is the same on both lenses and both handle a ton of light surprisingly well. Wide angle shots are pleasing to look at. Colors are accurate, clarity is nothing short of amazing and dynamic range is epic. For the most part, the Galaxy A52 and the A72 maintain the consistency in wide angle shots, while you notice that once in a while shift in dynamic range for objects in the background for the Galaxy A52. Sometimes the Galaxy A52 just wash out the whole picture, especially those with human subjects. On the other occasions, when you put a human subject in frame, the results hold up. Images from the Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A72 look similar for the most part, with any visible differences being attributed to dynamic range disparities we've talked about. Again, minus the captions, it's hard to tell which phone took which picture. Here, that's still justified, as both phones support a 64 megapixel f1.8 lens with built-in optical image stabilization. Which one of these do you think does a better job in the whole wide-angle mode? Comment below on which and why. Well at it, here are wide angle samples to compare with the Galaxy A32 and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Before I forget, here are 64 megapixel mode samples from both phones. This is basically where everything is turned up and the phones use every ounce of that 64 megapixel lens to take photos. The upside 
image quality is superb, epic, sharp, full of detail to say the least and the downside is maybe file size or the occasional startup and lengthy image processing time. This is the part of the video where we talk about the telephoto aspects of the cameras but here we're going to change things up a little bit since the Galaxy A52 lacks a telephoto lens. Instead, we'll segue into the zoom capabilities of the Galaxy A52 and the A72. The Samsung Galaxy A52 lacks a telephoto lens and as such maxes out a 10x zoom. It digitally zooms in from the main 64 megapixel camera to give you different perspectives from 0.5x to 10x. On the other hand, the Galaxy A72 uses the main camera from 0.5x to 2.9x and at which point it switches to the 3x optical 8 megapixel telephoto lens. The result is the Galaxy A72 is able to zoom in all the way to 30x, though truthfully speaking, past 4x it's zooming in digitally to 30x. If you ask me, I'd say 4x is the sweet spot for both lenses and anything past that is really pushing the cameras. Also, there's times where both phones blurred out the whole frame as they try to digitally define the objects that stood out in frame. Example, this heart over here. This happened when moving between 4x and 10x. Giving the camera some more time to focus did solve the issue though. The software in the Galaxy A52 is great at making out focal perspectives just as well as the A72 that got a dedicated piece of hardware to make out zoom perspectives. All the same, let's be realistic here. These are still mid-range smartphone cameras and they will not in any way push the limits of zoom performance like the flagship phones, say the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Keep your expectations in check here. All the same, where they can, they do a good job. The Galaxy S72 getting that extra edge due to that telephoto lens. Oh, before I forget, there is no zoom locking on the Galaxy S72 at 30x that's been left to the flagship phones and friendly advice if you want to get the best, most consistent zoom shots, use a tripod. It makes your shots that much more consistent all through. While on the whole topic of telephoto and zooming in, let's talk portrait shots. Presence of a telephoto lens on the Galaxy S72 results to naturally occurring bokeh shots at 3x zoom. Switching to portrait mode, the Galaxy A52 uses its depth sensing lens to map out the subject's edges to give that background and subject separation. Night mode. Both phones can shoot some great video and max out at 4K 30fps. The Galaxy A52 can do 1080p video up to 60fps, while the Galaxy A72 can do 1080p up to 120fps. Here are samples. Talk to me about that audio quality. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you questions that you're gonna answer. So, so. are you a pineapple on pizza guy? No way. Why? No way pineapple on pizza. It's a fruit and it's meat with fruit. There's usually meat in that thing? Bacon. Bacon is meat. I have never like had bacon, is pork. Bacon is from pigs. Is it? Cheese is from milk. Cheese, no. cheese is just a loaf of milk. A loaf of milk. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's move on to the selfies, and this one should be quite easy, right? Well, it's not really. Both the Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A72 use a similar 32 megapixel f2.2 wide angle selfie camera, but the images churned out are for the most part different. First, both phones struggle with exposure in conditions with tons of light, for example, the doors on a bright day. To fix that, either take over exposure settings manually yourself or give them a lot of time to set exposure. Sometimes you have to literally move for them to be able to change exposure. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, especially the Galaxy A72. Sometimes it just washes out the whole photo and also I notice a shift in color temperature when switching between the ultra wide and wide selfie modes. One would expect some similarity in at least tones or color temperature, but that isn't the case here. In each scenario or test, the Galaxy A52 was more predictable, stable and consistent. Yes, there are areas where both equally struggled, but the S72 was proper offbeat in those scenarios. Give the phones balanced lighting and they take good selfies. I'll also give them props for good edge mapping in portrait selfie shots. So, what's really happening here? 
Looking at these two phones, I'd say Samsung have made great improvements in this year's generation of the Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A72. They used the already popular platforms of the Galaxy A51 and A71 and made them better in notable ways. Here's the thing, yeah? Take the camera out of both phones and they are literally the same phone. From the processor to storage packs to display specs to software to features. Differences will come in say battery size and display size. Then again, Samsung had to differentiate the two. The best way they could was in the camera section. Last year, they put literally the same camera that was in the S71 in the Galaxy A51. Spec for spec. In real life practice, however, we saw the Galaxy A51 beat the Galaxy A71 in areas that mattered and that really made the A71 a hard phone to recommend for its camera. A hard phone to justify or explain it sitting above the Galaxy A51. This year, Samsung have made it easier and clearer to define or justify the A72 being above the A52 in terms of camera specs and ultimately price. The result is two phones that go toe to toe with each other, showing off the prowess of Samsung software and processing capabilities. From my user experience, I'd say the Galaxy A72 camera feels quite flimsy in use but makes up for that in image processing after the shot has been taken. I say flimsy because it really over the images in the viewfinder before you take the shot and there's noticeable shutter lag snapping photos. On the other hand, the Galaxy A52 feels solid, smooth, fast, but the image quality doesn't really match the experience. Also, Samsung have been quite careful with the upgrades they've given these cameras so as to keep the prices of the phones down and not to make them look like they're competing with their flagship brothers. Basically, how I see it, the Galaxy A52 camera is a refined A51 or S71 with a new software experience in One UI 3.1 and the new Snapdragon 750G chipset to do the processing. The Galaxy S72 camera on the other hand is a redesigned and re-evaluated camera setup in, in a direction that seeks to separate the Galaxy S72 from the A52, hence the telephoto edition this year. Do I feel like Samsung could have done more to separate the two further? Yes, definitely. They could have thrown in there some zoom locking as a camera feature on the Galaxy A72 or made it max out at 4K 60fps, maybe even throw director's view in there or ironed out that shutter lag. Just those nitty gritty details to properly set it apart from the Galaxy A52. Basically, see how there's a significant difference between the Galaxy A32 camera and the Galaxy A52 camera? Samsung would have done more to really differentiate the A52 from the A72 in a similar manner. That said, knowing Samsung, they're gonna keep updating these two cameras and improving them over time to a point where say six months down the line, the gap between them will be so small and then we have to wait and see what the A53 and A73 have in store for us. What phone would you say won you over in this camera comparison? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It will support the channel. Subscribe and share this video with your friends if you haven't yet. My name is Hezion. This is Lord Hezion. Catch you in the next one. Peace.